Right, for updates on uh, this uh, histo historic, historic win, rare. And we have elected someone who is uh, an achiever, a performer, a doer, a goal getter. Uh, Senator Bola Metunubu is a household name in Nigeria, uh, especially in Nigerian politics. And because he has also performed as a governor, and of course as a politician, a strategist, uh, a man of great mind and a builder of men, uh, Nigerians should look forward to a Nigeria that will be improved upon. Uh, uh, we will build on what our present administration has done. And having been in power for eight years as, an, as a political party, I think the APC is now trusted more than any other political party in Nigeria. And it is evident from the elections that um, the preferred political party, the preferred community, of uh, people is the APC. And for us, we have everything to work for because this trust, this mandate given to us by Nigerians is something that we will always hold very uh, dear. Uh, we will never take people for granted. We will never take this country for granted. We will have a national assembly that will be dominated by the APC by the grace of God. And we'll have a relationship between the president and his vice president, president um, the president-elect, when he will be sworn in uh, on the 29th of May uh, this year, and his vice president, and the national assembly, the senate and the house, that will be dominant of uh, APC, that a relationship that will be based on respect, mutual respect, uh, cooperation, coordination, consultation, uh, partnership, and synergy. Because the essence is to deliver service to Nigerians. And we understand very clearly that the only way to deliver service properly is to have a serious relationship and understanding between the two arms of government. We have tried it in this administration uh, between 2019 and 20. Uh, 23 and our tenure will expire on the 11th of June this year. We we have seen the benefit of having a very good, decent, stable, and mutually respectable uh, relationship. And we have also seen in the past uh, the, 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 the the dangers, actually, of not having a decent and uh, cordial and working relationship. So we will go on the path of uh, stability. We'll go on the path of ensuring that we perform. We build on all those areas that this administration at the moment has got it right and where we think we are not getting it enough uh, right, we can uh, retool, re rejig, and uh, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the president-elect, the vice president-elect, uh, for this uh, opportunity to serve our dear country. Senate President Ahmed Lawan, congratulations. Thank you for talking to TVC News. Thank you very much. Well, I'm joined now by former Ogun State Governor, who is also a senator elected this particular election. It's double victory for you. We have a president elect and you also uh, won your election as senator. How do you feel on the day after this official declaration? Well, I think the, it is uh, the climax of uh, several years of participation. And I think that without any doubt, this is uh, a battle that was well fought. Uh, democracy in action. Uh, so many factors came into play and at the end of the day we thank God that this was uh, concluded. Uh, it is time for everybody to come together to support the, the president-elect uh, so that we can move our country uh, forward. Uh, like I said, well for battle, democracy in action, but we thank God that we've been able to conclude this. Talking about a hard-fought battle, it was a turbulent journey for Ashiwaji Bolabe well, Tunubu. When you consider how he, he, he emerged through the primaries, is perhaps the most aligned candidate in this election. What does this victory mean for the person of Ashiwaju and the kind of president-elect Nigeria is getting well, this time? I think the part of the case is that he has seen Nigeria from various angles, and that is a requirement for success in this sort of situation. I think we just thank God the way everything has turned out. We thank God for it. You talked about being magnanimous and victory, particularly when you see how sharply divided Nigerians were that is at the ballot. That is precisely what we did today. Um, and I know that informing his government, he will bring a lot of you know, people inside. We need unity, and I'm sure that he is in a position to you know, cement everybody together and move the world forward. What are you bringing to the Senate this time? Oh, quite a lot. We need to support our president. We need to support our governor. We need to look at laws regulations that can you know improve the polity we need to look at local government autonomy stuff like plenty 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 i know you're in a haste to go <laughs> Otuba Bega daniel thank you so much for thank talking you. to tv Very today much. thank you thank you glad to have you in a few minutes from now we are going to have the 
uh, the president-elect as well as the vice president-elect, who is also uh, going to receive its return certificate. Senator Ayuba has also joined Andy me Uba. now. Andy Uba, thank you so much for talking to us. What is the reaction from the region of your country hours after the official declaration of this result? I'm sure you saw that we are dancing and celebrating in my state, in my area. We are so happy because he's a man that I made a lot of people. This is his time. You can't take it away from him. He has suffered. I felt sorry for him. I said, this man, God, we had God answered our prayers in him. Absolutely. So this is considered a keenly contested poll. When you look at the figures, 12 states for the APC, 12 for the PDP, 11 and FCT for the Labour Party, and then Kwakwa so add one. What kind of unity, what kind of programs of unity do you expect from the incoming government? I know he's a man that unifies people and he's going to do it. He's planning already. He's had, you know, he plans ahead of time. He knows what is going to happen. So he already had his plan in place to unify. He's going to unify, see what will happen. This will be a different government from other governments you have seen. Absolutely. So, but... To, uh, the 10th National Assembly, for instance, yeah. we, we saw a lot of upset during this particular election. Was a tsunami. Was a tsunami. <laughs> what is your expectation from the 10th National Assembly, given the mixture of parties that we expect to see in the coming days? I hope we'll have a National Assembly that will be able to stand and take a decision when it's right. Not, not, not one-sided National Assembly. That's what will happen. Senator Andy Ba, thank you for thank talking you so to much. TVC thank News you, at this particular hour. All right, so it is a full house here this morning as we're expecting the president-elect Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu to join, this com to join this occasion and also receive his certificate of return. It also seems like it is somehow a celebration for party stakeholders who are seeing themselves for the first time after a really hard-fought election. So many of them are meeting, exchanging pleasantries and also celebrating as a matter of fact, the National Coalition Center has never been this full. We have been following this proceeding for the past four days, uh, which featured some foreign and domestic observers as well as some uh, civil society organizations who have witnessed uh, uh, this particular uh, proceeding. I'm joined by a former governor of Bauchi State who is also here. Congratulations to your party uh, you for this uh, very laudable achievement. Uh, talk to us about the, your evaluation of this electoral process. The process is very, very good. It, it is a, an improvement from past uh, processes that we have experienced in Nigeria. For the simple reason that you can see our president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, after straddling uh, Lagos over so many years, uh, was he lost the Lagos state in the election. Beavers actually has worked in a lot of cases. It is only in a few cases where beavers did not work. And in those cases, the uh, coalition officers are taking care of uh, that. It was a beautiful process. So you are saying that the disruptions that are widely reported is not widespread across the country? No, not widely enough uh, to affect the result of the election. There is no election that is perfect all over the world. All right? We have done very, very well. Many people have also made reference to the fact that um, you saw what happened in Lagos for the first time in 1999. Yes. You saw the results from Kaduna and even the president said Kaseda. How much of credibility is that bringing to the process? A lot of credibility. Nobody should question that. Because you see, those people who are attempting to question the process, do not, they, 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 they are mounting their own uh, problems so that they could see somebody else's problems. No, none of them had spoken of states where they had held sway. States where they were non-existent before, but this time around, they won those states. They are not talking about that. They are only talking about the states won by the APC. So the process was fine. It is an, a great improvement from the processes of the... Just order for my president, I see that the Vice President, Professor Shimbajo, is just walking in. Vice President, you're welcome. He's also joining this uh, very special location. Uh, former Governor, yeah. Bauchi State, yeah. I'd like you to speak to how we saw the North vote for Ashiwaju in this particular election. Some will say that um, it was a widespread decision across board. We also saw the decision of Northern yeah. Governors, even during his primary election. How much you is an Ashwaju presidency bringing to Nigeria? Uh, particularly in the northern parts of Nigeria, 
Ashiwaju presidency has already brought a lot of uh, unity. You could see from the pattern of the votes uh, from the north. It was a promise that has been repaid. So essentially, there will be unity under this government. Thank you, Your Excellency, for sharing your thoughts with us. The proceedings is about to commence where the uh, President-elect and Vice-President-elect will be having their uh, return certificate of return being received here. We're going to get your attention now to the high table where we'll bring you the details of all of this. Stay with TV News. I'm here standing with the Honorable Minister of Sports and Youth and development, youth development, Sunday diary. Well, you made mention earlier that we may perhaps have elected the most cerebral and uh, compassionate leader yet. You have worked with him for several years as a media aide and chief of staff. What kind of president-elect do we have? From uh, world leaders, he has been in the wings, right in the center of it all. And like I love to say, the man has found, history has found the man for the moment. That's Ashura Jubalame Tunubu, Nigeria's president-elect. You heard him talk about the need for those who did not vote for him to accept him, that he needs to work with them. You also talked about the importance of APC members to be magnanimous in victory at such a time like this. Talk to us about how important this is in keeping the peace. It's extremely important. He's a unifier in the forefront of the struggle for democracy in this country. He understands the challenges, the issues and the nuances and those issues are thug at the unity of this country. And as a unifier, as a president-elect, the sermon he has preached over the years, over the decades, the struggle he has fought, is a Democrat forged in the crucible of democratic struggle. So he knows that without unity, there can be no development. Without unity, as a president-elect, he cannot also succeed. Now he's preaching that from now on, to say, yes, even in victory, you must be anonymous in victory and that we should all come together to work for the unity of our country. You have been talking a lot lately about the broken the, the broken shackle. The broken shackle. Uh, you have been with Ashiwadu for years. Perhaps you can tell us the history and its symbol. Well, you know, there are a number of people connected to it, but I think he owes the patent to the broken shackles. He's so connected to the broken shackles. That the broken shackles symbol we see is Ashiwadu, personified. That is the Ashiwaju personae, the essential Ashiwaju. He believes that the shackles of ill health must be broken. The shackles of unemployment amongst our youth must be broken. The shackles of poverty must be broken. That symbol is extremely powerful and I'm sure that symbol will guide him through as he develops his policies, projects and initiatives, particularly for our youth who are ebbing towards 90 million. You have seen a recurring theme in every speech, whether ex tempo or scripted, from Ashibaju is that the youth, we have heard you loud and clear. We have to take the national anthem, Honorable Minister, I will be back. For many reasons, this is one of the most uh, clearly contested elections in the history of Nigeria. Uh, this is one of the freest, most credible, transparent elections. And uh, I'm glad that the president has been able to live up to his um, uh, pledge that he would uh, leave behind a legacy of free, fair, and clear election. There has been a lot of talk about the 30 year James, from Awolowo to Abiola. We also saw the resistance and the objection to this process that has now elected Ashwajibola Metinubu. How do you think he will be remembered in the honors of this? Well, you see, he fought this battle with all he had. He did not allow any issues or any obstacle to scourge him. He was focused, but like I tell people, Ashwadu has simply reaped what he has sown in the last 30 plus years in politics. When it was not fashionable, for politicians to reach out to other parts of the country. He did. And what you have today is that he has structures all over Nigeria. And this is what has paid off. And you can see when you look at the spread of his, uh, of his success, you find that this is a politician who has tentacle in virtually every part of Nigeria. Absolutely. Your principal, President Mohamed Buhari, has now congratulated him, saying he's the best man for the job and he's willing to expedite the transition process. Given the fact that both of them are in the same party, what is your expectation during this transition? It will be very seamless. 
Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information and Culture, thank you so much for talking to us on TV C News. We're getting more reactions from dignitaries who are present here. I'm joined by yet another stick, elder statesman who is monitoring this event. Please tell me your name and your designation. My name is Ambassador Jerry Ugokwe. I'm an ambassador of Nigeria to Austria. I'm happy to be here today. As you know, uh, this is one of the best uh, elections that Nigeria has ever held in recent times and I'm particularly excited because we have somebody you know who can turn things around so whenever he said renewed hope I'm excited that our hope is renewed. Former Ambassador, some of your colleagues also monitored this exercise. We saw Tambo Ibeki, former President of South Africa, Uhuru Kenyatta, former President of Kenya. What do you make of the observation of the process? I, I, I think that um, if you look at what they said, you find that they were happy that for the first time, Nigeria cut across parties, you know, where Labour Party will win uh, in Lagos, where um, another party. Sorry? I said even the president. The pro state. Yes, yes, even the president lost his state. So you find that this is one of the best elections, you know, and there were no very bad incidents, you know, like there used to be. No overvoting, as you will, you know, when people come and write results and then end up in millions of votes. Now we got the real votes. So I think that Nigeria has done their new leaf. And I look forward to May 29 when I see Wajua Medbola who will take over the mantle of leadership. And I can assure you that we, with people like us around, you know, things are going to change for good. Home Ambassador, thank you so much for talking to uh, TVC News at this time. Oh, we have the Governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai joining us. You have been very vocal in the days leading to this election, showing your concerns about the development. How do you feel with the turnout of events after this poll? Well, I feel relieved. I feel very happy that our candidate has won. But more than that, I feel happy for Nigeria because this election is a great lesson to all of us. The greatest lesson is that it is competence, it is capacity, it is capability, it is track record that wins elections. It is not the politics of anger, it's not the politics of ethnicity, it's not the politics of religion. We have shown very, very clearly that the people of Nigeria have looked at the track record of Asiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, what he has been able to achieve in Lagos, and what he has been able to do by way of inclusion in Nigerian politics to elect him across all the geopolitical zones. So I am relieved and I'm very happy that in spite of all the obstacles placed in our path, in spite of internal sabotage by people that are supposed to wish us well, God has decided that it is he who gives power to whom he wants when he wants. This is both in the Quran in the Bible, but some people who claim to be believers did not believe it. They put obstacles in our path, they created problems for our party, they did everything to make sure we lose. But Nigerians are wiser, and now the challenge is before Asiwaji Bola and Metunubu to be the president of all Nigerians, to bring the children of anger, the children of ethnicity and religion to the table and unite Nigeria for progress, peace and prosperity. And we are confident he has the capability to do so. So we wish him well, we'll pray for him, but I ask all Nigerians to pray for him. And we thank God for this day that has decisively put capacity, capability and competence at the top of Nigeria's political hierarchy. We are very grateful to Almighty God for showing us this day. Indeed, Your Excellency, I would like you to speak to the integrity of this process. We saw how it turned out in your state, in Kaduna State, where the opposition won some seats and even taken the lead. In the yes, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm as old as Nigeria and I've participated in all elections since 1978. And in my view, this is the most credible election that, we, that, that ever took place in Nigeria. The fact that Asiwaji Bola Metunubu lost his state and I lost my state, President Buhari lost his state to the opposition, you know, showed that this election was credible because if there is anywhere we can manipulate or rig the election, it is in the states. So, you know, those that are shouting that the election is rigged are only shouting uh, that the election was rigged in places where they won. But in places where we lost and where we used to be very strong, and we lost, we didn't complain because we believe in the credibility of the election. So, you know, um, I think this is a good step forward. We can continue to build in this so that we have better and more credible election in Nigeria. But this is the best I've seen so far.
Cardinal say Governor Nasir Arafat, thank you so much for talking to TV City. All right, so it's a, a little bit rowdy here as expected. Everyone is here. We just spoke to the Cardinal State Governor who is quite enthusiastic about the turnout of events. According to him, the results in Lagos, Casina, and his own state in Kaduna testify uh, to the credibility of this poll. I I'm joined by a clergyman. Please, your name and your designation. My name is Archbishop Peter Ogumuiwa, the pioneer chaplain of National Ecumenical Center Abuja and the Archbishop of African Church Abuja. Thank you so much for joining us. There were a lot of religious play in the days leading to this election, particularly because of the Muslim Muslim ticket of the APC. Well, the president-elect said it was a hard-fought battle, but he won. What lessons are there to learn for all of the religious divides that have characterized this exercise? Like, well, we want to thank God that finally we have come to witness a day like this. I think this that we have witnessed today is a new era and a new beginning for our country, Nigeria. In that, I believe that irrespective of our religion, irrespective of our tribes or ethnicity, we need to live together as one. Politics will always be politics, but there is one common thing that brings us together as a people, and that is the Nigerian project. I think. The um, experience we have had now, this election of Ashwaju, we should be such that all of us should embrace and find a way of living together as one family.